What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With J channel. So today we're talking about spikes again. And we're gonna be doing a review on the Nike Zoomix Dragonfly Spikes. So these were the hot spikes that everybody wanted to get their hands on in the summer. But you know, they were all sold out everywhere. And these were the shoes that people wore to break these 5K records on the track, like Joshua Chep, the guy. So we're gonna take a look at these to see if these are worth the hype. So if you guys are new to this channel, if this is your first time, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spikes were released early in the summer of 2020. However, they sold out super fast and no one was able to get a pair of these. Um, these cost $150 here in the US and they come in a few different colors. So the original color was the black and green colorway, which was sold out. And now in the fall, they released a couple other colors, which is the one right here that's the mango colorway and then you also have the olympic colorway which is all white uh, with red um, nike logo on the side so these are readily available now on nike.com or any big box retailers uh, looks like they have plenty of stock left or they're just gearing up for next year's models so these spikes weigh at about 4.4 ounces for a size 8 and um, with the spikes on they weigh about 4.5 ounces and um, I wear a size 8.5 for regular running shoes. So I had to size half a size down to size 8 um, to get a snug fit that I'm comfortable in um, for these spikes. And similar to the Victory um, as well that I reviewed earlier. So these spikes are made up of a few important components. You have the lightweight and breathable upper over here. Um, nothing too fancy along with the tongue. Um, you know, the laces are serrated, kind of like the Alpha Fly as well as the Air Zoom Victory. So they got these notches at the end to help them uh, to keep them tied for longer. And in the midsole, you have the Zoom X foam, which is you know a little bit more than the Air Zoom Victory. Uh, similar foam, this is Nike's cream of the crop running foam. It's super soft, lightweight, and responsive. And then you also have like a plastic plate in between the shoe instead of a carbon fiber plate that's in the Air Zoom Victories. Um, this plate is a little bit more forgiving Giving. it's still you know tough it'll give you some uh, responsiveness um, also you know it's very rigid so on the bottom the heel you have that standard shark fin uh, heel over here uh, for extra traction and support and then in the back you have the matumbo hole uh, that give you lightweight uh, more comfort as well as shave some of the weight off for the shoe so comparisons between this and the Air Zoom Victories, the upper is a little bit different. So the upper on the Air Zoom Victory is the Atom Nim material, which is the same as the Alpha Fly Next Percent. It's very stretchy, super lightweight, very breathable. However, these are uh, breathable as well. I didn't have any issues uh, wearing these. Um, the foam on these Dragonfly Next Percents are a little bit more compared to the uh, Air Zoom Victories. The Air Zoom Victories has less um, Zoom X foam, so it's a little bit more aggressive compared to the Dragonfly Next Percent. And there's also a carbon fiber plate in the Air Zoom Victory in which this Dragonfly just has like a hard plastic plate. So, I mean, they're intended for different uses. Uh, this shoe is meant for about a 1500, like a mile all the way up to a 10K. So these are meant to be uh, for longer distance running. So they're supposed to be a little bit more comfortable and forgiving. So weight wise, this compared to the Air Zoom Victory is pretty much weighs identical about 4.3 or four ounces. Uh, so they're super lightweight and then you can def barely feel them on when you're running on them in the track. So my first run with these, immediately you can feel the difference as soon as you slip on the shoe. It is a lot more comfortable than the Air Zoom Victories that I tried out earlier. Um, it's less aggressive. Um, even when you're walking around in the shoe, it's a lot more comfortable than the Air Zoom Victories. And when you're putting on the Air Zoom Victories, they just feel like they want you to be on your forefoot immediately. Um, the carbon fiber plate is very rigid. Uh, it's tough. And, you know, if you, after running in the Air Zoom Victories for a while, it definitely takes a toll on your legs. And when I ran with these, they these were super comfortable to put in, almost like slippers. 
and uh, I didn't have any pain or any of my uh, calves or anything compared to the Airs of Victories. Um, these shoes, you're not forced to kind of run on your forefoot all the time. The, the Victories do have those Zoom Air units in the front, um, so there's extra responsiveness if you're on your forefoot, while these are meant for, you know, a mile all the way up to 10K. So um, these essentially are supposed to be more comfortable, and they are, so I definitely enjoyed running in these. Um, I wasn't, you know, like I said earlier, you're not forced to run on your forefoot. You can definitely use the entire shoe if you're running your mid land on your mid foot and these have plenty of foam compared to the airs and victories to give you the extra support um and you know as you can see zoom x foam um is super comfortable the plastic plate on here is you know just nice and forgiving compared to the carbon fiber plate of the airs and victories and with the matumbo hole in the back it's just so easy to slip on your shoe right away um, even for a half size smaller than my regular running shoe size, I was able to slip into these uh, fairly easily. And, you know, the right away, they're very comfortable and the laces are, you know, great. Um, like they're similar to the Alpha Fly and the Airsman Victories. They don't come uh, loose uh, very easily with the notches on the edges. Um, I didn't feel any hot spots or anything. Um, I have about a one third of an inch of toe room in the front. So like I said, I like my racing spikes to be a little bit more snug. So if you want extra toe room, you can go with your regular running shoe size, which is fine. But if you wanted to fit a little bit more snug, which I like my track spikes to be, I had to half a size, I'll go half a size down um, in order to get that. And I still have some room, you know, um, while running and my toes are not touching the top uh, of the shoes. So that was one thing that took me a while to figure out with spikes since, you know, I'm not an expert uh, in racing spikes is how much room you need. Um, I know, you know, with race, running shoes on the road, the standard is half a thumbs width for the toe to the front of the shoe. Um, for the spikes, a little bit more different because you also you don't want it to your feet to be slipping around, so you want a more tight fit. Um, so I ultimately decided to go with a half size down to for more a uh, really locked in, you know, tight fit. Um, only a little bit of room in the toes. So many people would consider this to be like the Vaporfly on the track. Um, it does sort of look like it as well. It's got plenty of Zoom X foam, which is, you know, why I really enjoy this shoe. Um, there's This is like almost running on like a Vaporflies on the track. Uh, there's just so much Zoom X foam, you know, compared to your standard racing spikes out there. And it's just super comfortable to be in the materials, although it's not adamant on the upper. It's just fun um, to run in and soft. And there's some sort of like little cushion in the heel area. Um, besides that, everything else is very minimal in order to shave weight. Um, it's for meant for you to go fast and break your records. And I'm pretty sure, you know, if I race in these, I can probably, you know, set a PR or something as well so these are designed very well um you know it looks fairly rigid as well um i can i don't see this shoe you know um wearing out fairly easily um on the bottom is very similar to the air zoom victories so as long as you keep your you know tracks uh take care of them you don't use them all the time i feel like these could last at least 200 miles on the track and obviously, just like, you know, with the Airs and Victories, these are probably not very water resistant. So if you're running in rain or, you know, bad weather, this could potentially cause a problem. Um, there's a lot of breathability in the shoe, but there's also not a lot of water resistance in these spikes. So, I mean, ideally, you'll be running in dry conditions on the track. But, you know, for people that live in bad weather areas or places that snows or rains a lot, this could cause a problem um, with your feet getting wet and, you know, slippage um, as well as as you know your shoes getting wet and making them more heavy while you run so overall the nike zoom x dragonfly a is a very good spike um, it's a spike that's made for mid to long distance um, it's one of my favorite spikes out here these are just super comfortable to run in they're almost like running on sneakers or you know just regular trainers on the track because you could utilize the entire shoe on the zoom x foam on this um it's uh 30 cheaper the air zoom victories um so if you want a shoe or a spike that you can run fast in for longer periods of time all the way past a mile um this spike could definitely be you know could fit the bill i um, mean you could also even run 400s or you know maybe even 200s in these if you really want to uh, nike does have the superfly elite for anything you know shorter than like a uh, 100 or 200 
um, thing for events like that. But you know, anything greater than a mile, um, this is definitely the shoe that I would choose. And for $150, it's you know, it's not cheap, but it's also not super expensive as well um, with the amount of things that they put in the shoe. So if you want a comfortable spike that you can put long distance in as well as you know, run fast in, the Nike Dragonfly is definitely a spike you should look into. If you want an all-out fast spike um, that's not like sprinting, I would say the Air Zoom Victory is more for you. Um, if you that spike, I feel like is a little bit more faster overall. But that spike has you know the Air Zoom unit and the carbon fiber plate, and it just forces you to kind of go fast compared to this, where you can cruise in this or go fast in it as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them down below. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and your training is going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.